Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today I want to make a new version of the most successful video in Finer Tips history, which is the one about how to draw a water drop, originally released almost seven years ago and which has reached nearly 10 million views. The link for that original video, in case you want to check it out, is at the end of this one. And by the way, the instructions to draw a water drop, you can also find them in my drawing book. You can draw simple techniques for realistic drawings. And as always, I will be answering all your comments and questions live for one hour after the release of this video down here in the comments. We will be using this graphite powder that I collect when I sharpen my lead holders to give a tone to the background. We sprinkle it like this on the paper, as even as we can. <laughs> this is not even at all, doesn't matter. Then with a chamois we spread it and even it out. If needed we can pour more to darken it. Very good. Now with a pencil, or in this case a mechanical pencil, I'll draw the shape of the drop. It will be round on the bottom and then stretching up a little bit, and we will also draw a path that zigzags a little bit. Then we make a point with the kneaded eraser to pull a light, a light or two, two little but strong reflections. We have the beams of light coming in this direction. When they first hit the surface, here, they produce a bright little spot. Then the light travels through the object and hits the opposite side, which it illuminates and therefore we need to lighten it. We do this easily with the kneaded eraser. All this area that in a solid object would be darker, here it is lighter. And here we will have a cast shadow on the surface. And the opposite side is darker. Sometimes the kneaded eraser is not strong enough to pull all the graphite, so I may go over again with another eraser. This is one of the tiny erasers that are inside of a pen like hold. Let's draw the shadow a little bit darker. For this I switch the lead to a thicker and softer one in my 2 to 3 mechanical pencil, but you may also simply change pencils as needed. The list of materials that I'm using is in the description below the video. Good, let's draw a different kind of drop now over here. While the one on the left is flowing, this one over here will be standing. With the kneaded eraser, we make the reflection, like so, and then this other area illuminated down here. Very good. And with the pen eraser, we reinforce it a little bit. I want to make sure it is the same direction than the one we used in the other drop. Then with the pencil, we darken the cast shadow in the upper area. All right. And let's do a last one, and still different, of a different shape. In case you want to draw different types of drops in one of your drawings, which can be tears, or on somebody sweating, or coming out of the water, or drops on any surface, really. They are fun and actually easy to do. One thing to keep in mind is that what you are drawing are the reflections the dark and light reflections from the environment around it. And that the main body of the drop is transparent, if it is a water drop, and therefore of about the same tone and color of the surface underneath. In fact, I think I went a little bit too dark here, and so I lighten it and smooth it by carefully passing the chamois on it. And then I have to reestablish the darks in the reflection. And I go over it once more, lightly, because I want it just a little bit lighter. Like so. Very good. Excelente. 
the final touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.